Legendary Hall of Fame running back Terrell Davis was handcuffed on a plane by the FBI, and in his words, he was treated like a convict. Let's talk about it. My name is Jamal Kersey. I'm the principal attorney at Kersey Law. We're a boutique criminal defense firm in San Diego, California. And in this video, we're talking about an incident, if you want to call it that. And this incident ended with Terrell Davis being handcuffed on a plane. There's nothing like the excitement that comes along with traveling, and that's whether you're getting away to try new foods, you're going sightseeing, or just to visit loved ones. But never does it cross your mind, right, that when you're going to touch down, you're going to end up in handcuffs. And that's exactly what happened to Terrell Davis. And, you know, Terrell Davis was an absolute beast on the football field. I remember him most as the Denver Broncos, two-time Super Bowl champion, lighten up my Chargers. I say, you know, they were my Chargers because I was a San Diego Charger fan until they went to L.A. I couldn't follow them to L.A., but that's neither here nor there. You know, Terrell Davis actually is from San Diego, born and raised, and that's where I'm from, so that deserves an extra shout-out. He was on this flight with his wife and his kids, and he was headed to California for a vacation. And at some point during the flight, one of his kids wanted some ice. And you know how they sometimes serve you those hot drinks. You need some ice for your Coke. So Terrell calls out to the flight attendant, basically saying, excuse me, a couple times. And you know, they're moving through the aisles. They're responding to other people. And sometimes they can't hear you. So he had said it a couple more times. So when he wasn't getting a response, Terrell says he tapped the flight attendant lightly to get their attention and the flight attendant shouted don't hit me and then he hurried away to the front of the plane and no further words were exchanged and Terrell didn't have any other interactions with this flight attendant for the rest of the flight and so once they touch down the plane is held up for a couple minutes you know sometimes you might be sitting there for a few minutes and other things are going on and everybody's antsy and want to get off the plane don't be that guy who's in row 30 trying to get up man just hold up right but they're waiting a little longer than normal and at some point fbi agents get onto the plane and one ends up approaching terrell davis and they've got handcuffs and they tell him don't fight it and you know this is sound advice because you know causing ruckus resisting or making a scene can only make what's already a bad situation worse right and so he ends up getting handcuffed and paraded off the plane and they're surrounding passengers looking around in confusion and he had no idea what was going on he actually thought it was a joke because there was nothing that he had done that should warrant FBI coming onto the plane and putting him in handcuffs. It was traumatizing to have his kids, his wife, seeing him handcuffed and taken off the plane. And he said he felt like his dignity was stripped from him right in front of his children. So Terrell Davis was detained and an FBI spokesperson had said that he was completely cooperative throughout this process and eventually let go. And so Terrell Davis's lawyers are now investigating the incident to see if it was racially motivated, right? I mean, Terrell Davis is a black man and the flight attendant was not black. So they're seeing if some sort of dots can be connected here, right? And you know, it really wouldn't matter what race the parties are. This situation is absolutely ridiculous, right? But if it were racially motivated, then it just makes a bad situation even worse. You know, I know people get tired of hearing about racism and acts like this, but don't blame the people who are complaining about these acts being committed against them. You know, keep that energy towards these people who are committing these atrocities in the first place. And so the question arises as to whether Terrell Davis could have at all all been held criminally liable for having touched this flight attendant. And I imagine your immediate response would be no, but let's just take a look at the law, right? And so I would say the applicable offense would be a battery, right? And most people don't realize that you don't have to actually hurt somebody in order to commit a battery. And a battery legally is an intentional act which results in a harmful or offensive touching. And so obviously Terrell touching the flight attendant's arm is not going to be harmful, right? You know, it's not like it was a punch or a slap, it was just a light tapping. But the question is, would it be offensive? And you know, I would say no, right? A light tap to get someone's attention when you've been trying to call them, you know, it's not really offensive. And some might say, well, 
well, I don't want to be touched, right? Um, but is that really offensive, especially in context? Again, I would argue that it is not. And I'm glad it doesn't appear that there's going to be any sort of criminal charges that come out of this. But this is just really illustrative of what some of our clients routinely go through. I mean, we represent a lot of people who have no criminal history at all, right? They have good jobs, they're good people, and they get accused of BS offenses, right? And, you know, sometimes people end up getting arrested, they have to put money up for bail, and they're facing criminal charges all because someone lied or just extremely exaggerated a situation. And, you know, unfortunately, when law enforcement get one side of the story, sometimes they just run with it and they don't care that you have to pay thousands of dollars for bail and possibly have to pay thousands of dollars to defend yourself, that your job might be at risk, that your freedom might be at risk over a BS case. And that's when it's really important to have solid defense counsel in your corner. But yeah, when people are telling us their story, they mention just how traumatic traumatizing it is to be placed in handcuffs and taken to jail, right? And even if you're just there for one night, right, it can be a horrific experience. And, you know, if Terrell would have gotten upset and acted aggressively, and that would have even been understandable in the circumstances, right? I'm getting arrested. I'm getting ushered off a plane, you know, in front of my wife, in front of my kids for no reason. He could have gotten arrested and taken into custody, even if he didn't originally do anything wrong. Well, this was a United Airlines flight, and they have since issued an apology to Mr. Davis and his family. And the flight attendant in question has been removed from their duties while they conduct an internal investigation. And this is just upsetting to see, right? I mean, in 2024, there's just no room for this type of BS. So United Airlines, let's get this thing sorted out. But we'll see if there's a lawsuit down the road. But what do you think? What should be the remedy here? Should the flight attendant lose their job? Should Terrell Davis get paid? Would you file a lawsuit? Let me know in the comments below. And if you got something out of this video, please show me some love. Hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you never miss a new video when it drops. And as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.